And joining us now from Washington is Hallie Sofer, executive director of the Jewish Democratic Council of America, and I believe a former national security advisor to Kamala Harris. Uh, Hallie, so obviously this is a choice I'm sure you agree with, but the Republican Jewish coalition put out a statement saying her choice would weaken the U.S. relationship with Israel, citing, for example, her support for the Iran nuclear deal. How do you respond to that? Well, thank you for having me on. And yes, I am thrilled with this choice. Having worked as national security advisor for Senator Harris for over a year when she first got to the Senate in 2017, I can attest to the fact that she is a values-driven leader who deeply appreciates and supports the relationship with Israel. I traveled to Israel with Senator Harris. I saw it firsthand. And I know just how much she uh, supports a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, supports U.S. military aid to Israel, and supports the enduring relationship between our two countries and two peoples. Right, Ali. But she will have some differences with the Netanyahu government, as, as Joe Biden did as vice president on some issues, let's say, uh, uh, Israeli settlement in the uh, West Bank and, of course, the Iran nuclear agreement. Well, her views are completely aligned with those of Joe Biden. Uh, I also attended a meeting with her and Prime Minister Netanyahu, and they didn't seem out of step at all. It was a wonderful meeting, uh, and there was complete alignment on a wide range of issues. When it comes to the Iran nuclear deal, I think we can all agree that today, with Iran going back to its nuclear development, we are no better off. In fact, we are worse off and less secure than we were when we had that nuclear agreement. And Donald Trump is the one who walked away with it with nothing to replace it. So Senator Harris, as someone who understands our national security interests and appreciates international agreements and alliances that will defend U.S. security interests, will certainly be looking at a way that we can go back to ensuring Iran cannot acquire a nuclear weapon through diplomacy. Now, I am seeing some disappointment with this election among what you might call the progressive wing, or some might say the leftist wing of the Democratic Party. Also, uh, when it comes to certain issues related to Israel with them, I mean, how much of a does her selection has show Joe Biden sort of rejecting those like Senators uh, Warren and Sanders, who believe that aid to Israel should be linked to, for example, decisions taken regarding the Palestinian issue. Well, Senator Harris has been very clear. She supports the 10-year, $38 billion memorandum of understanding that was agreed to in the Obama administration. She supports the relationship with Israel. And these views are personal for her. It's fundamental. Uh, and she's not someone who makes calculations based on what the right or the left thinks. She does things based on what she as Kamala Harris thinks. And as you showed with that uh, speech that she gave in her first two months in the Senate before APAC, you know, she she showed this is something that she, throughout her life, has uh, appreciated this relationship with Israel. So her views aren't based on, on politics. They're based on, you know, what she believes, and that is aligned with Joe Biden's view. Right. I want to just broaden it out discussion a little bit to the Democratic Party. Hallie, we did see Ilan Omar win the um, her primary. Uh, of course, uh, that is she is a divisive figure for some American supporters of Israel, as is Rashida Tlaib, who looks like will also be returning to Congress. What do you say to those who might say, OK, Biden and Harris uh, represent the mainstream of the party, but there's this growing uh, progressive or leftist wing that are taking positions that are more hostile to Israel? I would encourage them to look at the Democratic Party platform that will be uh, accepted at our convention next week. This is the position of the Democratic Party, and it is the views of Biden and of Harris. And that is affirming the strength of the relationship with Israel and support for a two-state solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, uh, opposition to the BDS movement and support for aid. Uh, so that is the view of the Democratic Party, and it will be unanimously accepted next week at our convention.
All right. Well, certainly uh, we haven't even discussed, of course, the groundbreaking decision of women of color, the first vice president. And nor have we mentioned, uh, though it's not related to the issues we've just discussed, that her husband, Douglas Inhofe, is an American Jewish lawyer from also from California. Hallie Sofer, thank you for joining us again on The Rundown. Thank you.